welcome back to the channel. My name is Cupquake and today we're going to be starting a new game together. So this game has been suggested by you guys. Also, I got a suggestion from Gloom Games to play this game. She said it was amazing. You guys say it's amazing. I am really excited. It got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and it is called What Remains of Edith Finch. So I have not looked up anything about this game. I, you know, I think it was $20 on Steam, uh, but I um, automatically bought it because I got so many good suggestions. So this looks amazing. So Edith Finch, let's go ahead and open this journal. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. All right. So the house. So we're reading a diary. This is actually really, really cool. <clears throat> I don't know where our little boat is going, but we are reading a diary and playing through the game. That's a really, really cool concept. And look at these graphics. These are beautiful. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. <clears throat> also, excuse me if I'm clearing my throat. Um, I am getting over a little sickness. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is a mailbox. It's so Inside cute. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Whoa. Like urgent. Open immediately. Wow. Someone had to pay their bills. And I don't. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. That's sad. Oh, that's so cool. I love how the text just. I love how the text just like became part will, of the key. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. All right. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. All right. So should we go up or down? I think we're gonna go left. This house is like. Out in the wilderness, I'd be so scared to live at a place like this, just so secluded from everything. You hear water. Am I going the right way? Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Great. This looks like the woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Yeah. Tell me about it. As if they're about to say something, but never do. All right, so here is the house. That does not... The house was exactly like I remember it. <gasps> That's the way I've been dreaming about it. That is that is definitely not city approved. Does it look like... Uh, doesn't look like they got the approval for that. That doesn't look very sturdy. Well, they grew... They friggin' made a house in the tree. That's cool. It looks so pretty here. I love the purple flowers. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Oh gosh. Is this going to be a scary game? Yeah, I probably wouldn't have came alone if... Uh... Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. All right, yeah, I'm afraid of the house too. It looks like we have a missing poster here. All right, so we can only interact with this. Let's go inside. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. All right, can we, oh no, we're gonna open this. We're gonna look inside here. Wait, let's do it again. Looking in. I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Uh, hello? All right. So I guess we gotta find a way in. Uh, let's go around. Let's go around back. Uh, maybe through the garage? I hear wind chimes. Oh, they're right there. So pretty. Seriously, though, this house, like, 
where is the grocery store? Because <laughs> it, there is like no civilization here. Can we go? I think we could probably go through the back. Oh, don't tell me I have to go through the doggy door. Seriously. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay. All right, so we're saving. There's a car in here. What is this? It's the power had been turned off the night we left. Great. It looks really pretty in here, though. All right, so I have no idea what I'm looking for. We got some tools here. Um, what is that? That looks pretty cool. A flashlight. Can I pick this up? Can't pick it up. Can't interact with anything. Um, a bike and a kiddie pool. And this light doesn't work either. All right. Oh, I guess we have access for the to the first time in inside years. the house. This music is making me feel a little I felt like I was home. uneasy. Really? You felt like you were home? But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. All right. <clears throat> oh, they still have like old takeout here. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Yeah, I mean, that happens when you live all the way out nowhere. What is this? Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Molly! Let's go this way. What happened here? Oh my gosh. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. From the night they left? What happened? It was like a bomb had gone off. Killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Um, okay. So, someone in a wheelchair with an um, oxygen tank. What's this? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, not, not Eddie. It's Edie. Grandma. All right. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Ooh, getting a visual there. Yeah, this is pretty the fireplace had a story. crowded in here. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Sank? All right. Um, ooh, nice table. Um, yeah, there is a lot of stuff in this house. Like, in comparison to my house, a freshly, I feel like it's a freshly moved in house. Uh, I mean, there's stacks of books here. Just so many. So much stuff. Oh, look at this collection. I love it. The bugs. Okay, we could go downstairs, but I don't want to go just yet. Let's do a little exploring. Dang it. I always... Let's just hold on to it. And spin that. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Oh. Along with the rest of the house. Oh, now we got this creepy music playing. All right, so here's the front of the house. Look at all those pictures. This is just a little overwhelming there. So many pictures. And we got this little stair thing. And then this. Can I look through there? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What? Why would you do that? Uh, okay, well, the door is sealed off. Can't go in the library. Let's see. What is... A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. What happened the last night? Let's look at the paper. Someone's missing. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh. That's so sad. It happens. Go upstairs before I go downstairs because I feel After like Milton disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh. Yeah, I feel like once I go downstairs. Oh, geez. Way to have a creepy picture in a hallway. In a dark hallway. Um, 
Let's see. They got more bug collections. Let's see. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara Finch. So is Barbara her mom? Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Can we look in? This is Barbara. Oh, wait. So is this like, so she's buried in there? The door is sealed. It looks like it would be a tomb. And it says Barbara, 1944 to 1960. So she was pretty young. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. Hmm. And that's how the room looked. Oh, man. I'm not going to look forward to going into these rooms. Someone's painting the room there. Okay, so figuring out who Barbara was. Can we go up here? We're going to the attic then. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. All right. So let's go down this way to this other hallway. Who is here? Sven and Eddie. So, or Edie. So her grandma. This was their room. Um, dang, 1917? 2010? Those little birds? Okay, let's look in here. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Hmm. It looks like the portrait's still there. I get the freaking heebie-jeebies in this house. I feel like I can't help but feel like I'm being followed. Um, Kelvin. Kelvin was like a little kid then. Kelvin um, died when he was 11. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. What? Jeez, so much death. Um, Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Yeah, that's, that's not normal. So 1976 to 1977. One year. All right. So I guess we should go down the creepy hallway with the creepy man looking back at us. We'll go in that room just in a minute, but let's go through Molly. This is our cat. Molly, look at how cute this door is. 1937 through, she was 10 years old. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. She was 10. Why are all these, like, children dying? What is, what is happening? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. It's a really cool room. Okay, so we have something here. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Let's see. Key. Oh, it works. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Actually, out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. What? Okay, secret now passage. Was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Great. No. I do not want to know. I do not want to know. Jeez. Okay. Milton. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Is Milton dead too? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Oh, well, Milton was kidnapped. Yeah, that's right. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh, is this um, uh, one of the rooms that we were just at? Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. This is Molly's room. Yeah. <clears throat> so we just looked through here. Uh, let's take a look around Molly's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Oh my gosh. I can't even... Let's let go. Let, let go. All right. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. 
This is a crazy room. Is that Molly right there? Little jellyfish. Dead plants. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Oh, mom. Okay, what's this? Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh, what? This is so cool. So now I'm Molly. What? This is so cool. There's a pumpkin. Durable food. A pumpkin. Let's look in here. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I do not want to eat the gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, that's messed up. Okay, um, we're gonna head out right now. Let's go outside. What is happening? Mom, can I come out now? She locked her in the room? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Oh, gosh. All right, there's another door. Whoa, this is the tree. Yeah. Let's get out. Is this bathroom? I'm little. I'm a little girl. Okay, let's see. What is that? I kept eating and eating. Eating toothpaste? I ate. I ate a lot of things that night. What the hell? And then what? And then... then I heard chirping outside my window. Oh, it's a bird. Hi. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Oh, no, don't tell me she's going to fall. And suddenly... I was a cat. What? What? Molly the cat. All right, so am I supposed to jump over there? I think I'm supposed to jump over there. Can I jump up here? I'm a cat. Okay, let's follow the bird. I think I got to go over there. Oh my gosh. I thought she said Molly was the cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. What is happening? Okay, there's another window right there. Maybe I'm supposed to go on to... I don't think I can make it onto the house. Let's see if we can go up. All right, and right over here. Whoop! Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. All right, let's try to go this way. I think this is the right way. I don't know, this bird is not gonna let me catch. Oh, hi. All right, little birdie. Where are you taking me? I jumped and I almost got her. Okay, oh, where is, what is this? Hey, little, little Barty. I could tell she was getting really tired. What is this? All right, let's see if we can catch her. I can't make it now, up there. I was up in the big tree. I can't make I it up there. I promised that I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Okay, so we're up on this big tree. I knew the tree was going to come into play. I was like... Why is this house built into I gobbled her up a tree? <gasps> uh oh. And suddenly I was an owl. What? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard Whoa. teeth nibbling in the grass. 
Alright, am I supposed to look for... I think I'm supposed to look for, um... Something to eat? Do I see? Rabbits! I'm coming for you! Oh my gosh! This is so crazy! Imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Whoa. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Alright, what else? What else can we eat? Something bigger. We need more food. A mama rabbit. Where? Where was it? Oh, Mama Rabbit? I'm gonna get you, Mama Rabbit! She was almost too big to carry. Poor I started rabbit. choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Just kept eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? A shark in the... Okay, oh, come on, little guy. Get to the water. Get to the water. Head down the mountain. There's a shark out of water. I'm just tumbling. Whoa! I rolled off the cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Whoa. Okay. Am I going to eat a human? Let's... This is crazy. This is so cool to see this... Uh... This point of view. Oh, look at there's a little I want a fat, juicy seal. Yeah. Oh, oh, poor baby seal. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. Where'd it go? Poor little baby. Where'd the seal go? I don't want to eat it. Oh, it's bleeding. Poor thing. I'm gonna eat you. I grabbed on tight. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? What is happening? What am I? A snake? Oh my. I'm a snake? Or is this my tentacle? What is this? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna attack people. Imagine this coming for you at night. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a person. I would tell you to run, but I'm hungry. I just ate a person. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Is there more people in here? I do want to stop, but I don't. I want to know what's what's happening. What shall we do with the drunken soul? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't eat him. He's singing. Can I, can I eat the, uh... Ugh! Can I eat the captain? I don't think I could eat the drunken sailor, because I feel like it... It would have, uh, it would have cued it already, or not cued it, it would have activated it when I got close. All right, buddy. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new, something I had to have, Lord. so I swam towards it. 
Molly? Molly? Don't eat anymore, Molly. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end right here. This is a freaking awesome game. I really like the different perspectives and the way that the story is being told. So if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, please let me know. Leave a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe right down there and hit the little bell so you get notifications. And also check out a video that will be right here that is suggested for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cupquick, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Love.